The visuals coming through, uh, money control has achieved a very significant milestone and we want to sort of uh, uh, make a big deal about it because it is a big deal, right? I mean, they've crossed the milestone of one million paying subscribers. It's, uh, they've created history, uh, a million paying subscribers, right? Uh, now, uh, that's 10 lakh uh, in number, <laughs> just to sort of uh, put those numbers in stock view. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's not just uh, this. Money control has also strengthened its leadership, leadership position once again. Uh, surpassing the Economic Times with, with 53.16 million unique visitors in September. That is a 30% uh, percent, uh, sort of higher number as compared to the uh, ET. Uh, a million Indians are now making smarter investments with the help of Money Control Pro, which is part of the listed entity, uh, which is Network 18. Uh, you know, you've got the uh, sort of uh, head of uh, Network 18, Rahul Joshi there, our colleague from Money Control, Mahalakshmi, uh, and of course, we've got the NSE boss, uh, Ashish Kumar Chauhan, uh, sort of bringing in the market opening this morning on this historic occasion. So uh, uh, there you go. We've got the uh, sort of levels on your screen and of course the bell going off there as well. So that's Ashish Kumar Chauhan and Rahul Joshi uh, bringing in the market open on this historic occasion. Uh, so uh, that is... Uh, really something to uh, sort of look at. Well, the market's open and we're down about, what, 25 points. 24,440 is where we are starting. And uh, you've got, you know, a 30, that's a 40-odd point uh, lower start. Bank Nifty is starting about 25 points uh, with a 30-point cut. It's actually absolutely flat, nothing at all. Uh, and the Sensex is down about 100 points as well. Uh, you've got uh, the IT index, which is starting about 0 0.65 higher. Uh, advanced decline is kind of, uh, you know, more in favor of declines. But of course, by close yesterday, it was very, very, very poor. 10 is to 1 in favor of declines. So it's more evenly balanced still. And today, of course, is going to be a lot about individual stocks, earnings, reactions and otherwise. So let's get to it. Sribi. Yeah, straight away, when I'm looking at the, the early casualties, m and Financial and, and Shopper Stop. Remember, the loss of 20 crores that Shopper Stop has uh, posted this quarter. Those are two names that are down straight away. But, uh, you know, the large cap picture is not that bad. Remember, I mean, in the pre-open, you were looking at a 100-point cut. Well, it's a 25-point dip right now. If we talk about where the losses are coming in from, it's m and Power Grid, Aisha Motors, uh, BEL, there's BPCL, the cross-sectoral lines, really. There's some PSU selling going on, some auto selling going on. Lever is uh, not in a good mood ahead of numbers, 1% down there. LNT is lower, SBI is lower. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of the heavyweights are on the way down. What is offering a bit of a counter, Bajaj Finance's reaction is really, really interesting. The stock was down 1% uh, as we started, but the management is saying that this is probably the worst of the credit quality issues and this is it. It gets better from here. And maybe the market wants to kind of buy into that. I saw some brokerage reports that still have a 9,000 rupee target on the stock. It seems to be a... You know, keep the faith, buy this dip sort of a moment for Bajaj Finance. And we'll get more analysis on that going as we go forward. Finserve is also up and about, about 2% higher. That's Bajaj Finserve. Uh, Bajaj Auto is up about half a percent. So a lot of uh, Bajaj names right on top. Uh, HDFC Bank continuing its good form from yesterday. So there's more gain there, half a percent higher. And then some of the IT heavyweights are offering a good counterbalance this morning. TCS, Infosys, Wipro. A lot of these names on the upside. So basically, you've got tech to the rescue. HDFC Bank still fighting, standing tall. And uh, Bajaj Finance is a real uh, good flip in this, uh, you know, in the morning. So the bull and bear tussle goes on. At least on that one stock, the bulls are having their way. 120 seconds into the trading session and we're back in the green. So not such a bad outcome because we started off with a cut of closure around 100 points and the bulls were like this, actually. Now, building onto these gains are very, very important. And by the way, this reaction on Bajaj Finance this is heartening to see. This is something that the Bulls is really looking forward to. I'll tell you what, if you can get some kind of a positive surprise in the commentary from HUL, Pidilai, TVS Motors, this market uh, will take it very, very positively because that's something that has been missing. Stocks that are moving around though, the Bajaj group itself is doing well. So auto is up, FinServe as well as finance. So that's those are the top movers. For the metals pack, NMDC have gone ahead and increased prices by close to around uh, 400 and 600 rupees per ton. The street likes that. The stock was down 6% yesterday. It's bounced back close to around 4% today. GMDC, the numbers are quite good. And, uh, you know, on a lower base though. So that stock as well has opened up the gain of close to around 2%. Joe, from the recent peak, I think the stock is down close to around 35%, but it's up 4% to kickstart trade. So good going out there. A couple of other big movers, Genesis International, I'm not sure what's happened there. 
but that one's up more than 10% in today's trading session. So massive move is what we're seeing on that one. And a couple of earning surprises, so good to see. Max Financial, Amber Enterprises, both of them up 6% apiece. You have Bocart as well that's uh, bouncing along. And Electra Green Tech, if I saw that correctly, that stock as well has opened up with solid gains in today's trading session. 24,500 is here. So good to see a 150 point bounce from the lows. And the Nifty Bank, that's the one that's giving you that positive surprise. It's up two tenths of a percent. Yesterday it broke the 20, 50, and 100 DMA. But lovely to see the Nifty Bank building on. Prashant, I think it sets us up for an interesting trading session with the first three, four minutes of trade. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, now to build on it, right? I mean, that's the thing. And uh, so we were saying in the morning, right, the, uh, once again, we are approaching oversold conditions. Earnings are looking a little better, at least the ones which have uh, come in today. Uh, but this is all very relative at the margin. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, but uh, it's uh, sort of it's good to see some green absolutely on the screen. Mazgaon, I mean, just a few other names, right? It's all news related, Baj mostly news related. Bajaj Finance is number one volume led gainer, uh, and uh, you've got Mazgaon Doc, which is up about two percent. Uh, so these shipping stocks all sold off aggressively yesterday. Paytm is up uh, back above seven hundred rupees, so four and a half odd percent. Lots of excitement around Paytm. Lots of buzz around this one. News has finally come. CoForge is up about five percent. Amber sold off. Very sharply yesterday, it's bouncing 7%. Uh, persistent, uh, good set of numbers, outpacing revenue growth. Uh, all of the IT companies, 3.5% there. Uh, NMDC is up 4 Max Financial is up uh, 6%. SRF, Garden Reach, Hindustan Zinc, GMDC. These are all in the region of about uh, between 2 and 3% uh, at uh, this point in time. On the downside, Zomato is the biggest volume-led loser. It's down a full 4.5%. And you look at something like a Chennai Petro. Chennai Petro is down 10, 11%, and it's got very large volumes in it as well. So 789, 788, 789 on Chennai Petro. Uh, they, when they move, they move big, these uh, standalone refiners, both the CP, CPCL uh, and the other one. Eminem Finance is down about five and a half, so uh, no respite here. Gujarat Florochem, news related. Nimesh, of course, that D Street chatter getting confirmed. Stock's down 4%, but again, uh, it's had a fantastic huge rally recently. And I think Supreme Industries is down another 6% this morning after yesterday's 10% uh, cut. They've lowered their guidance there uh, as well. So that's essentially the things, the lay of the land. We've got about a 30-odd point uh, pop, which is 120 points from the day's, the opening low, almost immediately when the markets kind of bounce right back out.